So I was watching a Rick Graham video the other day. Uh, he's a really great guitarist, well worth checking out if you find his YouTube channel. Um, but what he was doing was uh, playing pentatonic line, but he was really taking advantage of this fingering where you play three notes on one string, one note on the next, three, one. And I've covered this in the past in other videos as well, so by all means check those out if you want to really dig into this shape. Um, but the problem is that it's really quite difficult to get it under your fingers. It's a bit awkward. It's very different to, to where you play, say, a three notes per string shape. So what I thought I'd do this week is give you three sort of simple lines that sort of break down the shape and allow you to explore it and sort of build your own lines out of it. So let's drill into my guitar and we can play the first one. So just playing through that first pattern to give you an idea of how it should sound. <laughs> So as you can see, it's just a simple cyclic shape, and all we're doing is playing two notes on the D string and three notes ascending up that G string. And then I'm hammering on from nowhere to play that E note, pulling off into the D. So for this first shape, the only note I'm actually playing is that G string. And the other thing I'm doing, uh, because I'm playing finger style, is I'm letting my index finger fall through and deaden the D string. So I'm controlling the string as well as playing the G string. I'm controlling the D string. And this is probably the easiest shape to learn, but the hardest one to play at speed because your second finger is doing so much. So the second one is built on that first one, it starts on that G, it's another eight note pattern just like before that you can just cycle through and drill, drill into. Let's try that. Okay, just playing through the second shape then we're starting on the G. So let's go through what, what we're doing there. So we're starting on that G, we're playing three notes on the G string. And that takes us up to this B. And then we're sort of playing one note on the B string, which is the D note there, and then the E string there, and then back down. And again, you need to think about how you're going to play this with your um, right hand as well. So I'm, I'm basically using a legato on the G string. I'm playing that D note with my index finger that E with my middle finger and then raking through with my middle finger to play the, the D and the B notes there. So one finger's playing all three notes there. And the third one starts from that, that sweeping position and takes you across the neck. So let's drill in and try that one. So just playing through, we have this pattern. So breaking that down, we've got one note on the G string, which is that B, one note on the B string, which is that D, then E, and then we play up and down the E string. So how am I playing this? Well, I'm playing with my right hand, I'm playing first finger plays that B, second finger plays the, uh, the D, third finger plays the E, and then I hammer on. And then coming down, that E is just a pull off, first finger plays the, the D, and then rakes through to the B, and that starts the cycle again. The other thing to, to watch is what my thumb's doing. My thumb is actually on the strings all the time and it's tracking. It's tracking the, the strings that I'm playing and deadening the ones that I've just finished playing. So if I didn't do it, you get that, that kind of sound. 
So the thumb really is just managing the other strings. Again, if you're using a pick, you're going to need to come up with your own picking technique for this. So once you've got all three movements under your fingers, you, you should find that these apply themselves all the way across the strings as well. And you can start to build your own lines on these, these kinds of patterns, just like Rick did. So give them a go, see how you get them, and we'll chat next time. Goodbye.